Hi, my name is Rodney Small of Common Good Solutions. I'm the Student and Business Coordinator for the Halifax Regional Municipality in the Guysboro Region. I'm a fourth year student at the Housing University, ready to graduate from the management program with a focus on innovation and entrepreneurship. I'll be with you for the next three sessions to take you through the Student and Business Plan template. Today we're here to talk about the project details part of the Student and Business Plan template. Part A of the project details asks you about your business idea and startup information. We simply want you to describe your business here. What type of business are you going to undertake? Part B, regulations and insurance. Have you registered the name of your business yet? Yeah. If no, we provide where you have to go, the registry of joint stocks. Part two, have you obtained the necessary permits or licenses to operate your business. First one is a HST number. Most businesses making less than 30 grand will not need a HST number. So depending on the type of business you are running will determine the answer to each one of these questions in these boxes. Health permit for food services. Other permits, once again, depending on your business, will determine the answers. Part three, will you be obtaining insurance for your business? If no, we want to know why. If yes, we want to know the type as well as how much. Part four, are you planning to hire employees? If yes, how many? Have you applied for an employee number from the Canada Revenue Agency yet? Yes or no? Are you aware of any deductions you must make? Yes or no? If not, you can contact your nearest CRA district taxation office. This can simply be found with a quick Google search. We also ask, have you applied for a workers' compensation number? If you're going to hire employees, you will need a workers' compensation number. Part, part C of the project details, we want to know some management information. So now we want some specific information on yourself. Employment history. Your employer, your title, what you've done, from when to when. Part D of the application, really, really important part is the mentoring. What we're looking for is the name of your mentor, the business they're involved in, and their contact information. This is the first part of the business plan template provided by Student in Business. Next week, we'll talk about the second part, which is the marketing plan.